Let's see. Let's see. Chunky Kong versus uh, Sharp. I wonder if Chunky Kong's ever played against uh, Mabel's Doc. That's kind of funny like that you, the best you mentioned that too, because online we did right see now. Really quick, I, somebody did, in the chat did point it out to me that uh, Sharp did win the Ditto, the Doc Ditto against Mabel. So we'll see. We'll see. That's funny. All right. So uh, off the bat, man, I, I uh, I'm worried when Sharp gets Cardo thrown off stage. If there's if that's ever a thing on the table, oh we got this jab oh, lock real quick. Stopped. though. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, close, close, close. Fine. Nice. He's really deep off stage. Yeah, nice, oh, nice. That air dodge. I'm surprised. That actually that was a free back here on that air dodge. By the way. Yeah, I think that was Chuck good. Was the time. That was super good from Sharp too, because he knows if I go below, Chuck and Kong will be able to catch that, so he had to go for that higher recovery. That's a stop though. Damn, you guys are going back and forth so fast. Kind of what I expected, but still crazy to see. <laughs> <laughs> crazy to see indeed. You know what I'm surprised about Sharp Stock? He uh, doesn't abuse Ooh. the pillar, which I expect. If that forward are connected, I wonder if even DK would have died to that. Yeah, I would have loved to. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen Sharp use the pill that much. It's a really good opportunity to kind of force interactions in neutral. It's just look at the situation where like look at that he faked the bat the back air so we can try to force Chucky Kong to go in for the roll. That was a solid play there, even if it did not execute properly. Yeah, Sharp's already shown that he really likes to scare people in the corner with like these empty hops, bait out defensive option. Because that's just things that Doc can punish really hard, especially yeah. on a character like DK who's so big. Oh, that shield. Ooh, the armor though, but nice. Harley sneaks that in through with the far top. Yeah, I like the idea from Chunky Kong just because he wanted to get. He saw how low the first time he made his shield. He went for it again to see if Sharp would shield again. He would have got a free shield break there. It definitely. And then now the pill's coming out for two good reasons. We saw it off stage. Specifically because you know that Sharp wanted Chunky Kong to go for that low recovery. But we saw it on the right side of the stage because Sharp wanted Chunky Kong to hold shield so he can buy himself back towards center stage. Gets this really great back end. Pushes oh. the off stage play, but unfortunately Chunky Kong is able to survive. Yep. Oh, let me get the easy forward smash. Yeah, Chunky Kong kind of falling aggressively there with that laggy forward air. Um, we're going to take that all day, though. That was nice. Yeah, most definitely all day. Like I said, usually you see Mario, Dr. Mario, Luigi even. They go for those fireball options just because you want to force out an interaction in the neutral. For Sharp, you know, especially against DK, the... The lower he recovers for you, the better in any situation, because then you could try to read his recovery. Specifically with how aggressive Chucky Kong is, you know that Sharp is looking for those reads. That's what we come saw. That's what we saw him. We saw him go for that uh, empty hop back air. He faked that out so he can force Sharp. I'm sorry, Chucky Kong to go for an option. And even if he didn't go for it, look at the position where Sharp was. Yeah, um, that's just really good. What you should like. This is really good things you should do in neutral as Doc, because he's a uh, he's not like. I don't, I don't know, some people see him out when I say this, but I feel like he's similar to Ganon where, like, he plays better when your opponent's scared. <laughs> that is so true. So, the more time, the more things you can do in neutral to make your opponent, like, second-guess himself and start rolling and spot dodging, the, the better time you're going to have for Doc. And, uh, yeah, Sharp is going crazy offstage. Crucial mash yeah. for him. Uh, <laughs> opportunity not to panic, too, from Sharp. If he panicked and jumped there, he would have lost the stock time. Yeah. I like to see more of these forwarders coming out as well. From Sharp. Nice. He knows he lost the center stage control, so look at what he does. He puts a pill in and then looks the fire for that bat. Such a great play. Don't yeah. Dark's pillage is really good, especially in this matchup because oh, bad roll. Yeah. He's alive though. But uh yeah, he still gets kill confirms off a of hitting pill. Oh, did he oh. actually snap it out? Yeah, that was actually really good timing on the back here. But, uh, yeah, if he... Oh, wow, you really parried that? You're crazy. And he got the kill. You're crazy for that one, man. But, uh, yeah, he still gets, uh, like, up B, out of pill. I think he sometimes can get forward air if it's timed correctly. Those are all really good options. If he can, you know, set it up, that is. Nice juggle here. Yep, he's waiting. he was trying to see if Chun Kong would jump at a disadvantage oh. there. Oh, he's going for these preemptive capes. I don't blame him because if he capes DK's recovery when he's doing that up, he's <laughs> most likely dead. But uh, Chun Kong's not making it easy for him to get that out. 
I think he's missed the timing on it every time so far. Yeah, once again, good from Sharp, understanding Triple Kong wants Sharp to go for that one recovery, has to go for the high one here. He's gonna save that opportunity, but Ooh. unfortunately, your hurt box is still out there, and that four until has such a range. I think he has, like, the, the sword normals on that, like, intangible. Yeah, it is. So, it's ridiculous. actually really good, uh, two frame. Oh, that shield. Nice. Great parry, but he gets crossed up. This is a huge stock right now for Chunky Kong. Oh, Sharp yeah. went super deep. Yeah, he's going really deep off stage for these edge guards against uh, Chunky Kong, but he's just not finding it. Mm -hmm. Good on the nair, though, on the landing. Wait for it? Yes. Excellent opportunity to go for that back air down throw. Oh, yeah, huge option. combo right now. And don't sleep on Rage Doc, man. He's very, very terrifying. Oh, indeed. Oh, oh I like the idea, but a little bit too slow. Down okay. Throw. Nice. Gets the quick up here to push him off the stage. Looking for the re on the landing. Excellent play from Sharp here. Yeah, I like the patient play, but does he get snagged by that back air? He's going to stall off stage a little bit. Nice. Shun Kong trying to find this back air to connect, but Sharp is just playing very disciplined neutral. He's not making it easy. For him to get this stock. Oh, oh. excellent empty hug there. Oh no. He's not going for it yet. That was good. He oh. baited the, bait the ground on that situation. Wait, wait. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was scary. He got hit really far off stage. Um, I don't think his DI was the best on the back air. I think he was already holding a direction before he yeah. got back hit, so. He was, he was. Either way, though, good on Sharp, by the way. He played that really well. Um, yep. Huge comeback. It almost brought it all the way back. Yeah. You can even see it in Chucky Kong's gameplay. He's specifically really understanding of when Sharp goes for that low recovery. We saw it with the forward tilt. Like, he, he knows what situation is best for him when those recoveries are made, especially against Sharp. And Sharp is really keen on trying to use a Cyclone to stall out his recovery in certain situations. We saw that the last time he couldn't make the recovery here, but now it is game three. We'll see who... He actually should be doing game. that a little bit more. Yeah, I, I know he, the one time he got he tried to Cyclone stall, he uh, died. But he just did it in a pretty bad spot. I, I think if he changes the timing a little bit by using the Cyclone a little bit more, it'll, it'll help him in the long run. But right now, getting mixed, having a rough time and disadvantage versus DK. Nice. He okay. knows he did not properly space up that Nair or the Nair was even saved, so he went for a quick spot dodge. Yeah, that's just, that's just the ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's really good with Doc because uh, if it's near having a strong hitbox, the longer it's up. <sighs> oh my. Who armors that? <laughs> Chuck like, who me. actually does that? Who That's is... actually way too brave, but let me just punch through your ledge trap. I don't care about any of that. That was insane from Chunky Kong. Yeah. Almost gets it again, but uh, Sharp a little bit keen on that. And uh, yeah, it's a very quick <laughs> revenge stop from Sharp taking no percent. Oh, I was that gonna shield say, if, if I were a sharp man, I would not be holding that shield on that down special. Yeah, almost. I think he just let it poke there because he didn't want to get shield broken. Yeah. Solid trade for sharp on the nair, but Trigon comes quickly back on the stage here. Oh, great pivot. Is that the upper? Yes, it is. Wow, this guy, Chunky Kong, knows these windows, man. He knows them like... Y'all gotta stop giving this man these stages, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, Would you I know why Sharp... Would you rather buy a little or buy a lot? Sharp wants the stage because he also benefits from the small stage being Doc. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. You never want to let Chunky get that uh, cargo throw up there on you. Alright. Let's see. Nope, no, it didn't go for aggressive edge guard this time. The dash attack nice. pretty good. Double back yep. here, here. Good opportunity because he knows that dash attack has such a range and a lasting for box to cover the get up and the recovery. Yep. Yeah, very good at the ledge. I think it also sends a different angle than Mario's too. Yep. So it's a. Uh, it catches a lot of people off guard. Oh my god, that pivot guard range is crazy. Is he gone again? Yeah, he's oh gone. my. Ah, that looks like Smash 4, man. I know people hate when people bring up Smash 4, but I, that literally looked exactly like a Smash 4 thing. See, like I'm... the pivot grab covering like half the screen. 
Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be real, bro. I'm happy. Char I'm happy. Chunky Kong is winning because he's proven my point. Why do you keep giving him the stage? Like, just it doesn't. It doesn't matter how much you win. It's the comeback factor that DK possesses within those two stages is such a big factor that even Strius brings it back to how Smash Four DK was. That's how big it is. That's all I'm saying, man. I know I'm not holding the controller, but I'm just trying to help you guys out. Game four. Yeah, I, I, I know why he's doing it though. Like he's more confident in his ability to play his game on that stage because it's small and it's good for him. There, here it is. Fine. Thank you. But now we're Thank seeing, you. now we're seeing the town and city. Thank you. You relieve me of my stress. Yeah, I want to see how Sharp uh, plays this on a bigger stage. We already seen the pill come out way more. Oh. Goes for the hard reads already, man. 57 is pretty scary when he has that charge punch, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, man. Oh, he uh, can't come back. He can't come back. back. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very surprised with, at the lack of mash there from Sharp in that situation. I feel that DK Cargo Throw, like I said earlier, a little bit off stream, I do feel that Cargo Throw is really difficult to mash out. I know it's definitely percent based, but just in my experiences, especially over Wi Fi, it can be difficult to mash out. Great tech from uh, Chunky Kong there, staying alive. And I want to say, if, if Chunky Kong can. No. Oh, no. No, no Sharp is gone. Oh, Sharp my. Is gone. Oh, Sharp is my. Gone. Dude, Town and City actually just backfired so hard. <laughs> I guess Chunky Kong's like, I don't care what stage you're taking to, man. I I'm gonna find a way to kill you really early. I so now, know what Sharp Sharp, uh, has to make another comeback happen. Yeah, it's not over just yet, man. A couple burst options you can get in here, you can definitely put things back. And you can see it coming out here with a couple of the aerials that he's getting. You can tell he's even going for just that last second stall where he can get the hitbox to kind of see if he catches Chucky Kong on the slip up in terms of letting go of shield. Yeah. You want to try to bait parries as well if you're going to try to pressure your opponent's shield. So you have to stagger the timing on your aerials. But uh, yeah, he, he still has a little bit of work to do before he can bring this one back comfortably. Great roll to avoid the, the charge punch again. Oh my god. He's... <laughs> He was just trying to get to the ledge, but it worked out so well. I like the idea from Chunky Kong. Probably could have killed off that platform if he got that grab. Oh, that is a combo, by the way. <laughs> they added that to DK's arsenal a few patches ago. Oh, uh, wait for the air dodge. I was so scared nope. for the air dodge, too. Oh, so many things can kill Sharp right now, but he's still fighting to make this comeback happen. There's the back air, though, and he's out of here. So much pressure on the platform there. Honestly, very scary position to be in. But yeah, great stuff to Chunky Kong, man. He's on the grand finals.